I like that for, for Steve's. Um, sometimes it's a great way to, to load up that posterior chain, you know, get a lot of glutes and, and some hamstrings recruitment without necessarily having guys holding really heavy weights in their hands. Um, you know, especially when we get to this time of the year, a lot of these guys are throwing and it's getting more and more particular. And you know, believe it or not, if you do a lot of heavy deadlifting, things like that, it can actually tear up guys' hands a little bit. So we'll use that a fair amount. Um, you know, it's about as heavy as I would let a guy like Steve go on with, you know, with knowing how long his spine is and, and how tall he is overall. But um, you know, he, he certainly gets after it. And, you know, really the progression, you know, in, in some cases, obviously, is to add weight to a limited point. But um, thereafter, you know, we'll just do it for, you know, a count of two 1,000 at the top and, you know, slow down the tempo a little bit um, here and there as opposed to just trying to add weight and add weight and add weight. Making sure you're moving through your hips and not through your spine. Um, so we want to make sure we're pushing through the heels. Um, and you get to the top, we'll cue athletes, squeeze your glutes together. Um, don't hyperextend your lower back. Um, if you're feeling out a ton in your hamstrings and your lower back, you're doing it incorrectly. The goal is really just to, to use your glutes and, and keep everything out of the equation. Uh, anywhere from, from six to 10 reps.